Hello, it's Sarah. I'm in the craft room and I've been busy. In New Jersey, it's been in the 90s for two weeks. Um, yes, I go out and I do things, but for the most part, <laughs> it keeps me inside in the air conditioning. Um, so I wanted to just share what I've been up to. Uh, I have still been creating uh, mandalas and wood burning, but I'm also incorporating painting into my mandalas and this one particularly is where I really try to um, get the shaded effect that you can get with wood burning that I haven't really gotten proficient at yet with paint. So this is an example of me playing around with the look of the mandala. Um, I burned the darkest areas and then I do all my line work, but then I came back with dark burn umber, or I think it's called traditional burn umber, and gold. Because that's kind of going to be my signature when it comes to um, these mandalas. Because I really like bringing paint into the picture. Um, so that's one that I did. And then I went shopping. I actually went, the other day I just had had enough I'm, this is really starting to get to me, guys, this um, quarantine stuff. And, I mean, even though in New Jersey we're, like, I think we're not on green anymore, but we're, like, yellow. Anyway, um, I went to Walmart, Michaels, and Target. Yeah. And um, I saw this coloring book, and I have another one of these by this Design Originals. Um, this is the author. <clears throat> She's an excellent artist, and this one was just a lot of positive, kind of like affirmations. So today I choose joy, and it's just kind of patterns. All I was looking for was patterns. Some of the coloring books are too detailed, so I found a few designs in here that I really like. So I did this one, do what you love. I love this, make art, not war, so I'll probably do that as well. And then you are my sunshine is I'm going to do that on a round. I just ordered more 8 inch uh, round shapes. But I'm going to burn them and then paint them the way I have. And then this says go in an unexpected direction or in unexpected directions. I really like all the arrows. And I might not add all the different doodahs but um, just the main line work and then I'll play around. So I'll show you what I did with this one. It's not done yet. Um, because what I found at Michael's, I guess, let me see, they were on clearance. This basswood canvas. So I got these guys, this size, which is the 12 by 12, for $6.37 each from, I forget how much they were. I know the other one was, but it's like, it's got like a 2 inch or a 1 and a half inch side, and it's basswood. And these are usually expensive. And this, I, I haven't, you know, finished it yet. I gotta paint the color on that. So this is what they look like, this, by Art Minds. Because I think they've, they didn't buy AC Moore per se. I think AC Moore is still open in some places, I'm not sure. But they have now gotten some of their vendors, something like that. So they're changing their whole art department, which I'm pretty happy about because they may carry some of the wood that I liked at AC Moore, although these are awesome, these basswood canvases. Because look, and then these, I got two. This is all they had. I got this 12 by 12. This was regularly $17, but it had a tag for um, $5.37, and it rang up for $17. But I told her, oh, no, there's a sticker. And there was a sticker. The lady went back and looked, and so I got two of these for $10.74. So I'm looking forward to having them and maybe figuring out what I want to put on here. Um, you know, I'm, I want to put some uh, Al-Anon um, sayings, so maybe I'll use these lines that go across to kind of, you can kind of see there's a small one, a wide one, wide one. Anyway, um, so I'm looking forward to using those. Then, I also, I look on Pinterest, oh, this is another thing I got at AC Moore. They were closing out their little um, summertime projects for kids, 
and these are those door hangers and I just thought either when Liam comes over or whatever he would love this because they had a little princess one too this was like two dollars I think I think it was 50% off two fifty, and there's like six of them in here so I wood burned one of them so I wood burned it and I'm going to paint it today because when I'm painting the other one I'm going to paint this and I should have put his name on it I could probably add that but it's just a little practice for me and I'm getting so much better at wood burning so I did that and here's the other thing so then I go on I don't know if it's Pinterest or wherever when I look for ideas for wood burning and like these tiki's caught my eye because generally they're wood carvings these little tiki's this one is a downloadable from azcoloring.com so it's kind of like a kids pattern page thing so you can go print things out for the kids to color or something on a rainy day anywho so I traced this onto two different things so this is the one I did and don't look at the shape of it because it's definitely what would that yeah but I this is where I was practicing doing shading to make it look like it's wood burn shading so this one was just done all with well gold of course and burnt umber and then this one and I cut these out on our bandsaw um, and the blade is quite dull it's not the best at the you know it's just been around a while but this one with the color you know I always like the color and the fact that it's like cut out the best I could which is kind of hard because a bandsaw blade is really wide I need a really thin scroll saw blade and then you'd be able to get into the nooks and crannies anyway look how cute and like I just thought you could put it on a little like you could put it on the front of something in a boys room you could just glue it you know glue it onto something so I did those and then today I'm gonna be doing oh, I don't know where it is here it is this little tiki guy on this so I have all these little blanks and this is basswood they're easy to burn so I and I blew it up I had this one it was this other printable freepick.com but look how tiny I think I could put these on like little, um, I could stack a few of them onto like a tongue depressor or a, like one of those craft sticks. But I tried blowing it up and I haven't, I didn't get our printer figured out quite perfectly to get them all big. I think I got three of them. One, two, three. Then I got it a little, I think that's the same size probably. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, I got a few different sizes but I wanted it to get big because that's what I traced to go on to here and then I will I'll cut it out look it's just for practice for me to play around these are nothing to you know you get a whole pack of like eight eight or ten of them and um, so and I have them in my stash so I'm not even buying them so this is basically free um, so I'm gonna put that aside and then yeah, those are all tiki's. I took a class on this is cupboard distributing. Cupboard distributing has been around forever. I want to say um, it's a wood source for uh, painting painters. Her name is Chris Hoy. She is a um, she actually got it, her degree in art. But she's a decorative painter and um, her patterns are so whimsical and beautiful and colorful anyway she's a bit of a wet on wet painter in a way I think um, her style is a little different I tried to do these the way she did them and then I cut them out myself so they're you know butchered look at that well one of these is look I'll show you uh, they look fine I don't know why oh here up here I lost the end of that one. See how it's supposed to be a little more sticky outy in that one. I cut it off. But anyway, how so I did two of them and I'm gonna share with you in the um, description the place you can go because she's doing another pattern. She's gonna do 
a gingerbread one of these so ornaments I think I missed the snowman I don't know she had like a set of three this was a free download so she gives you this little um, so here's the pattern I want to say she did this for free but let me see this is it let's see Chris Hoy design 750 it says but I'm pretty sure this was free although I would have paid for it I could have paid for it I forget I don't think I did I think this was free um, I saw it on my Facebook page and I'm gonna be doing one with Tracy Moreau this weekend it's actually at noon um, on Saturday which is when my granddaughter comes over so I might have to watch the recording but they leave them up for a little while um, this one I haven't done with um, Tracy yet obviously um, she did I think a snowman I'm just looking over here but this is the pattern she's doing this weekend it's called love potion and I've done other um, Tracy Moreau patterns up with skulls I have um, a tote that I need to paint of hers so this is the pattern I did pay for this I did pay for this pattern but I'm going to take the class so and I what I love is she uses mixed media and she uses some of these media paints that I only have a few colors but um, I'm gonna you know make substitutions and um, I'll bet you some of these are in in the directions I haven't checked yet I'm gonna have a look at that um, but I love that she uses stamping and uh, some mixed media techniques um, I might cut myself out a little potion bottle but I don't know um, what I'm gonna paint it on yet I better figure that out is today Friday <gasps> yeah today's Friday unbelievable time flies guys um, so here, here's, and here's the conversion for um, the fluid acrylics. I'm going to put this on top so I can see what colors I have. And then finally, I wanted to tell you guys about a class that I'm going to do on innovations in, in painting. It's a, it's a Facebook page. Um, Debbie Cole started uh, to get people back into the decorative painting world because a lot of the um, conventions are stopping now people I think mixed media came in and people got interested in that and when social media started um, people were doing YouTube and finding their creative outlet on YouTube and things like that and so decorative painting took a beating um, I know that um, I haven't looked into it as much as I could but I know that um, some conventions have stopped which were so fun you guys I used to go to convention OMG so good anywho now what they're trying to do is bring it to zoom so there can be zoom classrooms and things like that so that's what's gonna happen I believe this is September 21st I'm gonna do a mandala uh, it's over here. Where is it? Where's my Where's my stinking thing? Oh man, um, I have so much. Oh, I'm gonna paint it though. So it's gonna be painted. Here it is. So I'm not gonna wood burn it. This is the wood burning. Um, I'm gonna paint this. So I just took one of my rounds. And I painted it with buttermilk and I'm gonna teach you how to make the pattern and then trace it on to here so I'm gonna teach the whole thing of how I you know break it down this is how this is just my design when I was choosing colors and all that stuff um, my own notes you know um, but it's a, a little bit different than this because when you're wood burning, you when I paint on these, I don't have to base coat anything or highlight and shade. I let the wood poke through and give you that highlight and shade. It's a much quicker process, but it should be fun to do on here. So um, I just base coated 
it's taken me a few tries because it's not the same at all. It's like a different animal when you do it on here. So I'm, I believe I will get back to you with the specifics, but I believe that is on um, September 21st. Uh, I really need a calendar to keep this stuff straight. So I think that's all I wanted to share today. Um, I hope you're all getting your craft on. Um, still haven't decided if I'm going to see my um, my niece Rachel and the baby coming in from Florida. I'm nervous about it still. Um, my sister Chris wants to come for a visit as well uh, from Pittsburgh and it's just a lot. So um, anywho, that's it you guys. I will be back hopefully. I need to make more videos for you guys. I know that. Mm, I will do my best. All right. Thanks for watching.